in today's video we're going to be looking at the Video Creators Bundle by Uhuru. Uh, it's the THL6U402. Um, so as you can see I'm wearing the microphone already. Uh, as with all of our microphone reviews, the whole review will be done with the microphone and I'm also using the ring light as well so I'll show you show you that all in, in use in a minute. Um, but I've actually got the ring light set up on my camera uh, as opposed to the smartphone. Um, but I'll show you that setup as well so you can see what I've done here. So let's go straight into the unboxing. You'll see exactly what you get in this uh, Video Creators Bundle. So let's see what we get in the box. So opening it up, we've obviously got the user manual. Uh, it tells you how to plug it in and, and use it and put it all together. But we'll go through all that. You've got this card to help you uh, if you need help and support. Uh, you've got the ring light itself, quite a decent length cable. Uh, it has three different light types. It's 8.2 watt and it's got your standard H bracket that you'd normally fit to a camera. And this is your controller. If I can get the light uh, camera to focus. It's just a simple on button, brightness up and down and change, and it's powered by USB. Uh, it suggests two amp, and your standard H bracket can be adjusted to however you want it. The next layer, You've got your phone holder. Get it out. So I've got quite a large phone. It's got its case on. Um, it fits quite easily. It just pulls and hangs over the top of it. You've got your standard screwing points. as you'd have for any tripod. That, that fits the standard tripod connection. And we've obviously got a, tri a tripod with that standard screw on the top. Uh, it's got a full gimbal, uh, three legs. We've, we've seen a similar one of these before in one of our other videos. But yeah, you've got two different heights. If you switch this around, you can have the, the lower or the higher height, depending on how you Look at it. We unscrew this, you've got the, the gimbal movement. And that point is where you just screw your either your camera or your phone holder. And of course we have the lavalier mic. Which as you'd expect I'm talking to you on now. Um, It's the U402. Inside we have a nice little, uh, I would say, I'd call this canvas bag, I think. Just to keep it all together. Nice little touch. And I throw it all on the floor. So you've got a 3.5 millimeter jack uh, converter. This converts, I think, from four pin to three pin. So some phones and stuff like that would prefer the four pin or the three pin. So this just covers you in, in, in both cases. So for, for instance, I'm using my motherboard and that prefers the, to me to use this. This is just the, the clip. And the lavalier mic itself just clips in there. Quite plenty of cable, a little Velcro top.
And obviously you can use the converter if you need it. So let's put everything together. Uh, so I've got all the parts laid out here. You can adjust the legs as, as you need. Uh, to start with, you put the phone holder. You can either screw it in, or you can only really screw it in one way, to be honest. But you can use that other hole for other purposes. I'll show you that later. Uh, you tighten the bottom lock nut up to it, and then you can set it however you like in the gimbal. In the ring light, you unscrew the lock nut on the bottom, push the H bracket in, and then use the lock nut to tighten it against the H bracket, as you can see. And that's it. Okay, so you grab your phone, you can just slide it in there and lock it in as you need to. And obviously you can adjust the light to whatever angle you want. I'm just plugging that into a power bank. As you can see, it's lit up to show you where the power button is if it's dark. Click that on and obviously you have light. And then you can flip between the different color settings with this. Looks like the recycling logo. Uh, and you can adjust the brightness up and down using the plus and minus. So I thought I'd just show you it in use. So I'm going to turn all the lights off. And you can see there's a fair bit of light comes out of this little unit. I don't think I'd need it on full. But yeah, you can flip between the different light scenes. The only lights on in my office now is a, I've got a blue RGB. So I just wanted to show another thing you can do with this. Uh, if you've got like a, a standard H bracket fitting on a, on a standard uh, screw, you can add that to the back here, I found. And because I'm filming um, DSLR now, I can fit a camera like this and using the standard H bracket on the top of the unit. Obviously, your camera will fit on the um, gimbal that's uh, the tripod that's provided. But yeah, I can use the bracket on the top to fit the eight, fit the ring light round the camera lens. So depending on whether you're using your phone or whether you upgrade like I did. Uh, further down the line you could use this in both both ways and then you have a perfect ring light for filming with DSLR as well I'll add a link to the to a, a single H bracket on its own in the in the description so what do I think of the uh, video creators bundle so the sound of the microphone is pretty good um, I've got no complaints with that at all I was quite surprised that the uh, the volume of it uh, so compared to a lot of the condenser microphones the volume is quite high so I've had to reduce that down a bit to fit with my normal recording which is always a good thing as you can see I've put it so you can see it here um, normally I wouldn't wear it like this you'd, you'd tuck it under the clothes and you can also take off the, uh, the pop filter off the top if you if you're tucking it under the clothes but as I want you to see that I'm using it for the recording um, I've got it on show but it's small enough that you could hide it away quite easily. As for the ring light, uh, what I'll do is I'll just turn the, the rest of my lighting off in this room. And you can see the difference that it's making. So, um, sorry I have to lean just forward into the shot. Um, but you can, if I switch between the different colours, you can see that there is a, a definite difference. Um, and I can reduce it right down. and. So without all the rest of the lighting in the room, this is this has given me enough lighting for what, what I need for recording. And then I've just literally got uh, another lamp and another light in the room uh, to just light the rest of the room. But that's plenty of light just for my face and for recording purposes. It's ideal. The little tripod you get with the stand is actually very very useful. Um, this is the second one I've got now, um, and 
as you get more and more equipment, these just are just handy to have for different circumstances. Obviously, you can fit any camera on the on the top of it, or a smartphone as as comes with it. But um, recently, I've been just screwing uh, microphones on the top of these to make a stereo sound and stuff like that because it's a universal uh, fitting. You can use it for all sorts of things, which is really helpful for me. And the fact that it's a full gimbal is really ideal. Just some things to be wary of with all microphones wherever you run the cable it does make a difference so at the moment I've got it connected to the back of my PC uh, but I'm being very careful to uh, make the cable avoid any other cables because it will pick up electrical noise from them so uh, that's something to just be aware of you get that with every microphone but if you do pick up electrical noise that'll be why just make sure you route your cables quite uh, nice and neatly away from anything else if you're using a wireless setup chances are you're not going to have a problem with that but just make sure you haven't got the cable wrapped around your phone or anything like that hopefully you've enjoyed this video if you have make sure you like and subscribe and uh, maybe stick a comment in the comments section below uh, and if you've got any questions also throw them in the comment section too and we'll uh, we'll try and cover everything we can thanks a lot bye bye